Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HCJ.tax. We're the team that seeks to demystify the sometimes confusing world of international tax. And today we have the honor and the privilege of having a chat with Lovi. Lovi, can you please introduce yourself to those that don't already know you? Thanks, Darren. My name is Lovi. I'm the managing director of Animal Associates Mauritius Limited. Animal Associates Mauritius is a licensed management company. We are regulated by the FSE. We are involved in the process of doing all the company formations. So any type of company, be it domestic GBC, enterprise companies, special licenses. We also, any company that needs a license in Mauritius would need a management company like Animal. On top of it, we also assist our clients with opening up bank accounts, day-to-day -day administration, bookkeeping, compliance, taxation. And we also assist our clients such who want to come and live and work in Mauritius. There's a lot of them who also purchases property here. Animo is not only present in Mauritius. We are headquartered in the UK as a group across the UK. So London, Mayfair, Essex, Manchester, Birmingham. We're also present in Ireland, Cyprus, Dubai, but we work with the rest of the world. That's a little bit of Animo probably for you. And uh, I'll be very happy to assist you if I can do further. Fantastic. So let's talk more about that, where you form your own company. And yeah. that company gives you that permission to reside and to work. Do you need to come with a business plan? Do you need like to demonstrate a list of potential clients or a track record of trading? What's the onboarding process like? Yeah, like any applications that you do, you will need to have all your paperwork ready. You will right. need to make sure that you have your business plan. You would need to make sure that you, you have a cash flow forecast created for the next three years at least. Basically, uh, you will need to show what you want to achieve via your business idea that you're bringing in. Definitely for each application that we're talking here, uh, it has its own checklist that you need to, to go through. Uh, all the schemes that are available in Mauritius, for sure, you will have to go for a medical certificate that you need to produce. So you would need to go for your medical examinations and everything. In addition to that, you would be able to do everything online. And this right. is something that we can assist you with. But at the same time, once we get the pre-approval, you will need to visit Mauritius. You would need to attend a meeting at the Economic Development Board, which we call the EDB. From there, uh, you just need to show your original. They will have a few questions for you, if any. But then after that, they will issue you your permit. So it's a very straightforward approach. And the good thing is that the EDB has created some sort of a timeline now. If you meet all the requirements, the, your application is in order. There's no further question. From, your application is processed fairly quick now. This is where Animo uh, will assist you to make sure that we, we, we achieve this target quickly for you. And in terms of getting the support of a management company like yourselves, what roughly would be the fee structure, just ballpark generally? What sort of budget would someone need to be working with? You know, it, it all depends on the risk profile of the client. It all depends on the volume of work that we have to do. But yeah. technically, for a very simple type of application, mm -hmm. I would say it would start from $1,000. But that excludes the fees that we have to pay to the EDB because for right. each application, there's a specific fee that you pay to the regulatory body. But mm -hmm. we can start on a minimum fee of $1,000. And of course, for the dependents, the fee will also be applicable to these guys. But again, it will depend on the volume of dependents. It will on the complexity of the application. But mm -hmm. That's the, the minimum fee that we normally would like to charge for the amount of work that's involved in the process. And roughly what sort of processing time? I know it depends on whether your paperwork is in order, but assuming that everything lines up, what sort of turnaround time or approval time we're looking at? You know, we have managed to get uh, things done within one month, but for argument's sake, we could say that it takes between one to three months to complete everything. But remember, at the same time, that we don't only sell the one part of the service. We'd like to sell also the banking services because right. most of the time when you apply for permits, you need to have your, your bank account sorted because right. the EDP will expect that the money is being paid into the bank account. The thing is, the new rule now is that they have changed the guidelines a little bit. The EDB is allowing you up to one month from the date that they give you your pre-approval for you to open up your bank account. But right. the bank account opening does take some time. It does need to be prepared really well. So mm -hmm. we always encourage our clients to, to come to us as early as possible. And mm -hmm. we try to work both the EDB application and the banking at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we also have to set up the company with the FSE because if it's a GBC company which does business outside of Mauritius, you would have an obligation to set up the company before you go for the EDB permit. So mm -hmm. those are things that my team and myself would be assisting you mm -hmm. when we have more information about what you want to achieve.